and uh, welcome to another video and today I'm in Lee and uh, well as you can tell the weather isn't that isn't that great in fact uh, the whole of the car park is absolutely flooded <laughs> on here here at the Loom car park well of course we're going to, we're going to a bit of a drive about today because it's um, rather wet in fact I'm going over to the other retail park as well I'm going for a nice coffee over at next. Right, so let's get going. Oh, here we go. Of course, let's just show you how it looks. Oh my god. Of course, the windows are pretty steamed up here. You can see. And, uh, Show you how this looks. Oh my God! Look at how flooded. Look how bad this is. I mean, it's absolutely flooded. Yeah. I mean, it's just absolutely flooded, as you can see. Of course, you have to take your time along here because it's wet. Oh, well, some people do tend to drive like lunatics on these car parks. No, I think it was about 1990. They wired this. Yeah. It's all the hard work. 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 It's all the 
hopped over that. Of course, here we are at, uh, at uh, the Passage Retail Park, and well, it is absolutely chucking it down around here. As, in fact, it seems to be all over the country in this weather. Well, well, of course, as you can see, the retail park here. If I turn the camera around, over there, you've got the Halfords, pound stretcher. And you've also got uh, next of it. It's got a nice little Costa coffee bar over there. So I'm joining my girlfriend for a, a nice sandwich. Because when I do ever come off this particular car park, this retail car park, I always tend to go the other way. But it's easier to come off that car park you know, because I'm off this car park that way. Because the junction going that way, you know, towards Swiss Lane, is just horrendous when it's busy. I mean, absolutely chock a block. I mean, I think the problem with Lee is that it's so gridlocked. You know, and they're building new houses here and everywhere. And you think, yeah, I'm sure there's no need for these new houses. I don't know. But, um, it's the way it is. Well, of course, well, I'm going to be nipping. Well, I'm nipping for a coffee and a sandwich. So. Well, of course, now I've had a nice coffee, and yes, it is still pouring down. Of course, now, of course, we're going to have to watch ourselves coming out of this car park because it is really busy. We're watching out for different cars coming around. So it's all clear. Yep, it's all clear. Because I'm going out this way because going out, as I was saying, but going out to the junction at Twist Lane is <laughs> crazy. It's like, it's like dodging cars. Here we are going along uh, Sainsbury's, going along the car park towards Sainsbury's. Yeah. Yeah. You can really, really watch yourself on this car park too. So I'm coming. Was the building to the left it used to be Argos, because now Argos is inside the Sainsbury's building now. Which was, uh, used to be part of the cafe upstairs. Yeah, I remember the cafe upstairs. Uh, nice food, although, well, you have to, if you're having fish and chips, you have to be kind of waiting, really. Where was that car going? coming down again now look at this just look it come pelting down now whoa
can see the rain's really coming down now. And you know, so the rain is the weather. Well, of course, we certainly do need the rain. Of course. Now, uh, still got my indicators on. <laughs> so, what's this guy doing? He's got his indicator on. Sorry about that. I'm glad I'm not working in this today, though I have worked out inside this weather and you get absolute salt as well. Oh, somebody's in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, there's one thing you should never do is go speeding in weather like this because stopping distance is greater, of course. Uh, we just had a, of course, me and Maxine just had a coffee in uh, Costa in the next coffee upstairs. Some people just can't wait to get through, can they? Mm -hmm. And uh, here we are. Of course, we are heading back home. I'm um, heading back home now. Because Max didn't have to go and work today, so we would have uh, done a vlog with it. But uh, of course, I like, we decided to go for a coffee and a sandwich. But of course, at the Costa, I had, well, me and Max had both had a nice sausage barn. this <laughs> terrible you know I would not like to be on you know I wouldn't like to be in Pendleton Flats like this either I mean obviously there's not many people there in fact we'll probably you know, obviously won't many people on Pendleton Flash today unless they're absolutely mad
service was. something that uh, that people uh, contact the local councillor and our local MP about this issue and they've dealt with the problem and they look so by November we should see another bus company taking over that route and of course well as you can see it's a very it's a busy Friday afternoon yeah, all the schools are coming out all the kids are coming out of school and that you know the, yeah, I remember those days when I was at school, yeah, part of the bus, and the bus is crammed full, yeah, it was like that in our day. Because I always remember the school I used to go to, it was up in Atherton, Atherton, I think, also, when we got on the time to, there used to be two bus companies that used to run that route, which was, uh, was GM buses, which would have been running that route for, Exhaust. <laughs> God, I mean, I'm glad that technology buses have, have changed for cleaner engines. That's good. Although they do lack the character of the old buses, but you know, they've got to move on. You know, in fact, uh, we might do a video of, of uh, the uh, bus down to Cheap Hill sometime. I mean, I think with the last year we had a ride on a couple of old buses. It was really nice. You know, that feel by an old heritage bus. If ever heritage vehicle is right to ride on is is a heritage tram at Blackpool. I do love that. Yeah. And we often visit Blackpool a lot, so uh, we like to do vlogging there quite often as well. So um, so so I'm not just restricted to the town of Lee. Yeah. Also uh, there's the Rugby Club. Out. Of course, we can't let everybody in. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, that was a beer. That was a big beer all day. We did that. Yeah. Was because, yeah. Here we are on to uh, my estate where I live. That was uh, the ultimate estate. Anyway, well, of course. You want something nice and hot as well to down with a cup of tea. I was watching that while I was watching uh, Frankenstein meets the wolf there. As a matter of fact, this October I've been running through a lot of universal horror classics like Dracula, and then um, uh, somebody wants to come through. I'm <laughs> Squeeze round here because uh, 
It's like, it's like playing dodging cars around here <laughs> with the traffic. That's what it's like. Yeah. Well. That's it uh, for another video of uh, Garage A's Walkabout Town. Although this one's been more of a drive around because of the weather being out for atrocious. I've been doing the filming on my own today because uh, magazines had to go to work later on, although we do have a minute for a coffee. Anyway, that's it for this one. Well, hopefully, I'll do one of um, maybe Bolton again. We are doing one of uh, Liverpool's Doc 2 exhibition down in Liverpool. So uh, we'll see you on that one. So, bye for now.